सो मेनी एक्सपीरियंट वे आस्किंग मी सर दैट आई एम गेटिंग स्टैग्नेशन इन वन ट्वेंटी करेक्ट वन थर्टी करेक्ट सी इन माइ केस ऑल्सो आई स्टार्टेड विथ वन फिफ्टी करेक्ट एंड आई गॉट अ स्टैग्नेशन इन वन फिफ्टी करेक्ट ऑनली टिल माई वेरी एंड आफ्टर विच आई गॉट वन सिक्सटी करेक्ट वन सेवेंटी करेक्ट एंड इन द फाइनल एग्जाम आई गॉट वन सेवेंटी नाइन करेक्ट इन द नीट पी जी एग्जाम सो आई वुड बी डिस्कसिंग विथ यू द वेज हाउ टू इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ करेक्ट एंड हाउ टू ओवरकम द स्टैग्नेशन इन जी टी स्कोर सो वॉज द वीडियो टिल द वेरी एंड फर्स्टली यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सैचुरेशन पॉइंट नाउ इफ यू आर गेटिंग वन सिक्सटी करेक्ट और वन सेवेंटी करेक्ट एंड यू आर टेलिंग दैट यू हैव रीच स्टैग्नेशन then this is not stagnation my dear friends this is saturation only you have reached the saturation points and there is very less scope of improvement though in the main exam you can improve surely now considering that you are getting 130 corrects and your saturation point is 160 corrects then you have to increase the number of corrects to 30 more so that you can reach your saturation point so each and every one of our target is to reach the saturation point that is the maximum number of corrects that one can get in the exam now first question that would come is how to calculate the saturation point so i am giving you the target number of corrects and you consider it to be the saturation point only so if you are someone who is giving a repetition of neat and you have prepared this year thoroughly then your saturation number of correct should be in 150s to 160s in main exam it would increase surely and if you are in internship and you have studied for neat pg from final year or vip 4 then also your number of correct saturation correct should be from 150 to 160 but if you are not falling in this group and you have not prepared that much well then your saturation point would be surely in the lesser side now the main question that how to reach the saturation point number 1 don't overthink see you are giving a grand test only of a certain platform so if you have not done all the qbank you have not studied all the notes of that platform thoroughly then you are bound to get less than number of corrects and in the neat pg exams the question would come pretty easy so don't overthink about i am not getting uh, this much number of corrects i am not getting 150 to 160 corrects don't overthink in the main exam it would change and neat pg is not going to ask you that how many number of corrects you used to get in the gt ye log kaun the sir jo chale gaye ja puch ke the neat pg exam performance is only going to give you the rank so stop overthinking and focus on what you are doing that is giving the grand test and reviewing the grand tests number 2 form is the most important thing if you go to any gym then you know the concept that the form of each exercise is more important than the number of repetitions so in this case also the form is more important than the number of corrects what i mean by telling that form that is you should give the exam in a personal computer sitting 3 and 1/2 hours in a stretch and you should not use any sources or you should not take any assistance of any sources ki yahan pe thoda sa confusion ho gaya bhai thoda sa dekh leta hota ki correct answer mere ko bahut confusion ho raha hai mere ko dekh nahi payega so you have to abstain everything from this then in your main exam you are going to give a better shot your performance would be surely better than others because aise bahut log hain jo log pc mein exam nahi dete hain real time experience nahi hota hai ya fir jo log assistance lete hain apna notes ka koi bhi gt dene ke liye taki un logo ka number of corrects increase ho jaye so you should maintain the form of giving a gt number 3 is reviewing the gt asap now reviewing the gt is the most important thing and we tend to forget that only we just look at our gt score and we are either satisfied or depressed we forget reviewing the gt properly so you should review 
the GT to know what are your weak points, what are your weak subject, how your guesswork is working, and how to review a GT. If you want to listen to it, I have a another full video. Go click in the I button, and you can see that video. Number four, marking the wrong ones in a GT copy. Have a separate copy for the GTs and those which you are getting wrong and you are getting something, a new concept from that, then just write it down in your GT copy. And this would be another source of your revision so that before another GT, you could revise that copy and this would surely increase your number of corrects. Number five, practice more and more previous year questions. This is the most important point. And this had led to the increase in corrects from my 150s to 170s and in the final exam 179 corrects. So you should practice more and more previous year questions, at least five years of NEET PG and three years of INICS and AIMS. But if you are having more time, then practice all the modules, all the modules of your app then you would see a magic would happen and if you means not just solving you have to memorize the concepts and if you can make you can make a separate PYQ copy also where you would list down the important points of the PYQs or you can annotate them in your main notes like I have shown in the video. Number six and the last point is practice more and more GT. Yes, the solution to get more number of corrects is practicing and giving more and more GTs from that platform itself. Because if you practice more and more GTs, you would see that some questions are really common and the images that they are asking, they are twisting the question, but the images remain the same. So if you practice and give more and more GTs, you would be acquainted with the set of questions that app prepares and you would get increased number of corrects. But your main motive should not be increasing the number of corrects from that app itself. So if there are more free GTs in other apps available, then do keep them because many of the students give the GTs in the marrow platform only. So there's something that occurs, I call it the marrow bias because giving the GTs that give them a pseudo confidence that they are getting more number of corrects because in this case, they have practiced the uh, QBanks and they are giving more and more GTs from Marrow platform only. So they are bound to get more number of corrects. So to avoid this, give some of the free mock tests that are available in the other platforms also. If you guys are having any confusion or any doubt, then do let me know in the comment section below. Then I can make a specific dedicated video regarding that topic also. Till then, Stay tuned. Bye-bye.